Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2 0 IQJ. So here we have the Yaesu FT290R, commonly known as the G1 Starter Kit. When this was released in 1981 by Yaesu, it cost a grand old total of £210. And if you do your inflation calculator, it's around about £857, 9 pence of today's money. So not a cheap option in 1981, especially when you have to use C-cell batteries. So on the front here, we've got the antenna. So mine's a pull-up telescopic antenna. And the version 2 of the Mark 2 has been replaced with a BNC plug. We've got your volume and squelch here. Your mode selection here. You've got your carrier wave, upper side band, lower side band, FM minus, plus, and simplex. Here we have the signal RF meter. We have the liquid crystal display there. The tuning dial there, nice and clicky. And the mode button is also nice and clicky. Here we have 10 memories, you can program memories into the radio. You've got your microphone socket. If I zoom into the radio, you'll see here we've got the busy and on air LEDs. You've got your dial stroke S, your call tone, because this will do 1750 hertz call tones. So the only repeater I can access with this radio is GB3 and L. Got your memory stroke priority, your memory button there, your function, your CLA. So I think it's like a clarifier, your step, and your VFO A and VFO B. And if you go back out, and this socket here is for the microphone. Now I do actually have the microphone. And this one here is labelled summer camp, just like the radio is. It's your PTT switch there. Up and down buttons there. Your lock to lock in the frequency. And this model number is YM47. And there's your, your belt clip there. For your microphone. If we turn it on to the side, we have a standby and extension speaker socket there. If we look on the back, have a few switches here. So this here is to plug in your Morse key. This here does the lamp on off and checks the battery and stuff. This one here is a noise blanker. This is the high and low power switch, and mine's on high power, so it's 2.5 watts on high power. And it's roughly about 50 milliwatts or on low power. You've got your lock and open there because you're going to open that up, put your batteries in. You've got your extension DC, 30.8 volts, and this is center negative, which is unusual. Normally, most radios are center positive, this one's center negative. And indeed, when I got mine, I couldn't work out why it wasn't working. Then I read the instructions, it's center negative. Like I didn't blow nothing, and it just tells, tells you there, center negative. You've got your charge socket there. Because you can charge it up if you've got rechargeable batteries. You also got your SO239 socket there, so you can plug in an extension antenna. And on a stock power and stock antenna, I've got around about 101 miles. That's the record I've got with this. And with an extension antenna, a two antenna, I got all the way from Cameron Sound Seafront up into Lutterworth, and done also done a five and nine into Yola White after that on two meter sideband. And on the top here. You got your speaker there. So if I switch the switch and take the top off, inside there's some switches. And it's got your tone squelch on off, scan, and that's busy, manual, and clear. And for 41 year old radio, 44 year old radio, it's starting to wear away. The foam's starting to wear away there. Can't argue with that. It's 40 odd, 40, 40 plus years old. Still in very, very good condition. And if we look at the batteries, it takes eight C cell batteries. Check that out. Blimey, that would have cost you a fortune back in 1981. Indeed, these, when I bought these the other day just to test it with the with the batteries, it was around about 15 quid. And these are Sainsbury's home like home brand, so it's not the Duracell brand. Very, very expensive to run it off C cell batteries, but I think I've got a solution for that. I used to run this off a drone battery with a pigtail, but I'm going to run it off the C cell batteries. I've got a solution for that, and that'll come up in a, in a future video. Let's put this back on. Now the display on this is a bit different. I got asked in the YouTube shorts the other day about the display and some said educate me. So here we go. So if we zoom into the display, you see there, it just says 4.425.0. That indicates we're on 144.250. Uh, if I go up again, That indicates we're on 
one, four, five. So the four and the five is just the second number that they miss off the one. So probably not enough space in there or something. Probably just save a few quid. So if I wanted one, four, five, four, two, five, it'd be five. And we go up to four, two, five. That's one, four, five, four, two, five. If I wanted one, four, five, seven, seven, five, zero. Go up to five, seven, seven, five. And here I can put it into, say, simplex minus. And when I press the call tone, it goes down to 175. I'm not going to do it for long because I'm going for antenna for extended. You'll see there, it goes down to 175. If I go down, 175, push it on the plus, drop to 775. And if I can give some volume. Carry wave. And you've got a sideband there. And you can indeed change the tuning steps by pressing the step there. So if we're on the sideband now, you can see it's going down. The end button, the end, end digit's going down. Press it again. That's going down a bit quicker. So this one's now going down. Press it again. It goes back down again. So there we go. A bit weird display, but once you get used to it, it's absolutely fine. And this is a cracking little radio for what they go for. I mean, I paid about £150 for this. And the other day, I did a bit of a receive test on air. So let's have a look. You've probably already seen that in the short, so I'll, I'll put it into this video. Thank you, and QRZ contest, please. Golf Zero, X-ray, Delta, Italy. QRZ. City contest, please. City contest, please. Golf Zero, X-ray, Delta, Italy. Golf Zero, X-ray, Delta, Italy. Golf Zero, X-ray, Delta, Italy. City contest, over. So there we go, the Yaesu FT290R, commonly known as a G1 starter kit. Great little radio, probably the most fun I've ever had on a QRP, QRP rig. Indeed, when I got mine, I thought I'd be just a paperweight. But my friend Tim was right, 2E0VBO. He, he said, you, you'll love this radio. He got this one from a rally, he paid about 50 or quid for his one. I've even got the leather case for mine as well. Again, for a 40-odd plus year old radio, this leather case is in remarkably good condition. And I said earlier on in the video, I've got a solution for the batteries that come up in a future video. Anyway, if you've got one of these radios, do you ever use it? Uh, have you ever had one of these radios? How did you find it? Post it in the comments below. But I certainly enjoy using this radio, especially on 2 meters SSB night. Anyway, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching the video. I'll see you in another video. This is 2E0 IQJ. 7.3 is for now.